Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lick and Ref, in which I want to teach you the one finger funk. The one finger funk. Now, you can actually interpret this any way you want. It's really up to you, and it's all about the magic of minor seven chords. Now, um, I'll give you a couple of examples. Something like this. Now, the really cool thing about this is that all I'm doing is barring. I'm barring a fret. That's all I'm doing. Now, uh, this can go into even more sophisticated ter uh, territory. And I'm gonna explain why in a second, but first, let me show you what I'm doing, rhythm-wise and um, composition-wise. Now, rhythm-wise, I'm sliding, okay, I'm starting, my, my starting point is strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, and I'm sliding into a fret, any fret, okay, let's say fret 5, okay, now, you don't have to start with the slide, even, okay? I told you, it's up to you. You can do this, okay? You can play the chord and then play strings two, three, and four again, and then slap, and then you can slide, okay, if you want. It's really up to you. The idea here is to create as many breaks as possible. And by break, I mean all these now, there's a lot of silence here. There's a lot of silence going on between the chords. It's not flowing, continuous, ringing chords. It's not... Even though you can do that, okay? There's no right or wrong here. There's no right or wrong. Again, it's up to you. It's up to you and your own style. I like the staccato short note sound. And as you can see, I'm doing what I just told you. That's all I'm doing, okay? I'm sliding and then slapping, or picking the chord and then slapping. It's always either one of those. Sometimes I'll pick twice. But the rhythm here is pretty, pretty basic. What creates the interest here is the way that the chords interact with one another. Now, the beauty of minor chords, especially minor seven chords, is that they can connect to one another pretty randomly. It really doesn't matter where you move this. This is the beauty of minor seven chords. It's that simple. It's that simple. And the reason that it works is because there is a sort of magic to a minor 7 chord and a major 7 chord also, by the way, I showed you this before, that major 7 chords can also connect to one another. Any major 7 chord can connect to any major 7 chord. <laughs> But now we're talking about funk. Major seven chords aren't funky. Minor seven chords are. Now, 
the sophisticated sound that I was playing before was this. Instead of playing strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, I was playing strings 3, 4, 5, and 6. 3, 4, 5, and 6. Because I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the standard tuning is a chord. It's also a chord. This is also a chord. It just doesn't sound really good when it's in the lower register. When it's in the higher register, it sounds better. It's a funky chord. It's a minor seven chord, but it also ha it, it contains the um, it contains the eleven. Okay, it's a minor eleven chord, basically. Now, um, because th that's a low eleven. Okay, if it's let's say it's E minor seven. The true eleven this A note and it will create the E sus sound. Okay, now this is a lower A, so the, the bassiness of it really turns it into mud. It doesn't sound good, but here, It sounds a lot better. So if you want to use this chord, just know that below the seventh fret, it's gonna sound a bit off. So below the, the seventh fret, I go back to the normal minor seven sound. Now, obviously you can add the E string anytime you like. I just add it as a kind of a counterpoint thing, just, just to add another element to it. It's not necessary, it's not absolutely necessary, but you can do it if you want. Now, if you're really, really courageous, you can play strings two, three, four, and five. And then it's a completely different chord. Then it's a nine sus four chord. It's a completely different chord. It derives from this, but it has the sus4. So that's another use of the same 11 sound that I was talking about before, but it's a completely different harmony. It's a completely different color. Um, so I would suggest if you don't wanna complicate your life, just play strings two, three, four, and six, and be happy with it. The simple sounds are the best. You can also do bass lines. And any bass line would do, as long as you go back to that chord. Any bass line would do. It's a lot of fun, the one finger funk. So um, I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now, have fun.